We found a new Netflix project you will be obsessed with. The streaming giant is currently working on a one-of-a-kind female empowerment bodybuilding drama series. With no further ado, here's everything we know about it. Let's start off with plot details, shall we? Isa, Isa, hold up. Yep. Uh, I'm really sorry you saw that. While Hollywood continues the trend of making series about serial killers, crime dramas and romantic comedies with zero originality, we are happy to announce that Netflix is working on a brand new series titled Stronger. This is certainly something we needed a long time ago. Oh, we have more good news in store. The cast ensemble of the series is spectacular, with the beautiful and amazingly talented insecure actress Yvonne Orji set to play the lead role. The female empowerment bodybuilding drama series with a working title Stronger will be executive produced by Yvonne Orji as well. So who else is working on the series? Stronger is created and written by Sheldon Turner, who's mostly famous for his work on Up in the Air, for which he was nominated for an Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay. Some of his other works include X-Men First Class, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning, and The Longest Yard. Well, we can easily say the project is in good hands. Producers for Netflix's upcoming hit are Jennifer Klein and DC Wade. The streaming giant also released a short synopsis about the series, saying that Stronger will focus on Tony Winslow, a single mom who feels unseen and unimportant. She becomes obsessed with bodybuilding as she explores the surprisingly tenuous line separating self-empowerment from self-destruction and will undergo not only a physical transformation but also an emotional tone. Well, with such a crew behind the cameras, such a perfectly chosen cast ensemble and a unique plot, Stronger now lives on high expectations. Do we know who else will star in the series? I'm really sorry for hurting you. And I can't imagine my life without you. Deadline was the first publication to announce that Yvonne Orji will star in and produce the drama series. As mentioned before, she'll produce the series alongside Sheldon Turner, the home company of the show is A Plus E Studios, where Turner and Jennifer Klein's Vendetta Productions has a deal. With the story following a single mom who feels insecure and unsure about her life decisions, we expect to see at least two more seasons of the series. I really hope the creators will do a good job so that Netflix decides to greenlight more installments. Anyway, the story will continue with our protagonist becoming obsessed with bodybuilding as she comes to a point where she gets confused by the line separating self-empowerment from self-destruction. Thus, we can see the struggles bodybuilders uncover throughout their lives. Netflix also reported that you need to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. For some of you, the name Yvonne Orji sounds familiar. That's because this is not Yvonne's debut role. In fact, she has plenty of roles under her belt. Let's get to know her better, shall we? but it feels like I'm the only one who's putting in any effort. By inviting me to brunch and playing old drinking games? Girl, we haven't even talked about what's really going on. Although she didn't play the lead character, Orji became extremely popular after starring in Insecure. As the best friend of Isa in the series, Molly quickly became a fan favorite. Those who haven't seen the series yet, well, you're missing on a lot. As a successful lawyer, Molly is quite satisfied when it comes to her professional life. Her personal life, well, it's a bit complicated, to say the least. Orji's portrayal of Molly is not just another role in her resume, it completely changed her life and took her career to higher levels. But playing the lead character in the upcoming Netflix series will definitely open more doors for this amazingly talented actress. Did you guys know that Yvonne has a podcast? Mom? Dad? I think it's time for me to spread my wings. Are you moving up because you're pregnant? No. Prostitutes. No. Pregnant prostitutes. If you're anything like me, you find podcasts calming. But once you discover Yvonne Orji's podcast with Luvi Ayaji called Jesus and Jolof, well, that will be the only thing you listen to until Stronger comes out, of course. Per the podcast description, it's about two proudly Nigerian women who have no behavior talking about the things they love, their stories, and life in general. Why Jesus and Jolof? Those are the two things they can't do without. Yvonne was born in Port Harcourt, Nigeria, but decided to move to the US with her family when she was just six years old. Sadly, the actress faced bullying because of her thick Nigerian accent, but now she has her own TV show on the Netflix, and we're so proud of her. The fact that she does comedy is just another quality that will help her in Stronger. When you see Yvonne, you can't help but notice she has a funny personality. Interestingly enough, Orji initially wanted to pursue a comedy career and she didn't want to be an actress. But when she realized she had great acting abilities, it changed her mind and became what she is today. When asked what she wanted to be when she grows up, back when she was younger, she always said she was going to be a doctor. Coming from a traditional Nigerian household means that you have to work a lot in your life. Even if your parents are successful in their careers, you're expected to become independent earlier than expected. Orji's family had a lot of expectations from her. In fact, they wanted her to become a doctor. We got two other options. 
One, you put a bunch of time and money in your friendship, I'm doing nothing for free, and it'd be as solid as a rock. I'm here, classic. For most of her life, Orgy thought she would become a doctor simply because she didn't want to disappoint her parents. Thankfully, she realized she has great acting talents and started pursuing an acting career. I'm sure her parents are proud of her even though she didn't become a doctor. The fact that she got the role on Insecure herself proves that she really has what it takes to be successful in Hollywood. If you don't have an agent or a manager, you can't have a career in Hollywood. That's what most people think, but Yvonne proved them wrong. The actress was successful to get the role of Molly without either a manager or an agent. In fact, she didn't even have acting experience when she was cast in the role of Molly, and that's quite impressive considering this was her debut role. As mentioned before, we expect to see more performances by her in the future. She has an upcoming movie, The Blackening, which is currently in post-production, and she recently starred in Hulu's comedy Vacation Friends. For a report by IMDb Pro, Netflix is Stronger has been in pre-production since August 2022, and sadly, we're still waiting for Netflix to announce an official release date. I know, that's why I reached out. But I can't be the only one who wants to make this work, Molly. You're my body goals. But we believe it's just a matter of time until the streaming giant comes up with an official announcement. If we have to guess, the series will come out by the end of 2023 at the earliest, or at the beginning of 2024. While we still don't know the number of episodes, some reports claim the show will consist of 8-10 to 10 episodes. Now a lot of people don't realize that bodybuilding isn't just a hobby. For a lot of people, this is a way of life. In fact, a bodybuilder's life changes once they get into this lifestyle, which is a storyline Stronger is expected to dig into. A lot of bodybuilders take their ambitions very far, which can result in an unwanted outcome. Over the years, the media has paid less and less attention to bodybuilding. Can you think of a project you've seen that focused on this topic but wasn't a documentary? Because I can't. Other than movies focusing on the dark side of the sport, using drugs, I can't think of a movie that focused on woman empowerment series that follows the life of a person obsessed with bodybuilding. The only film that comes to my mind was released way back in 1977. Yes, I'm talking about Pumping Iron, a film that stars Arnold Schwarzenegger as a full-time bodybuilder. Pumping Iron follows the story of him and other professional bodybuilders in the months leading up to the 1975 Mr. Universe and Mr. Olympia. But again, this is not even similar to the story of Tony Winslow. Per report by Netflix, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As mentioned before, this person will begin to explore the thin line between self-empowerment and self-destruction as she struggles with her life decisions, we will witness her physical and emotional transformation. See you in the next video. So, did I do it right? You did it right. Yay! Happy birthday, Lou! Thank you, Bob.